Now we reach the climax of this year's Global Teacher Prize ceremony, the moment where we announce the winner of the Global Teacher Prize 2023 where we honor an exceptional teacher that has made an outstanding contribution to the profession. Someone who will use the, this platform to give voice to teachers all over the world. And of course, with the title comes a $1 million prize fund. But before I open this envelope, let us invite our top 10 finalists back onto the stage. Are we ready? On you come. In the same order as you were in before, ideally. <laughs> Don't be shy. Wonderful to see you. There they all are. Fabulous. It's perfectly obvious from what I what I told you about these remarkable individuals earlier, that any single one of them would be a worthy winner. But there is only one winner, and let me announce it now. The winner of the 2023 Global Teacher Prize is Sister Zef from Pakistan. Welcome on stage, Stefana Giannini, the Assistant Secretary General for Education, UNESCO, and Mr. Dino Vaki, patron of the Vaki Foundation. And they will give the award. Welcome, Your Excellency. You must be very proud. Our winner <laughs> that was uh, before I, I may have some water, please. <laughs> it's it's incredible surprise. <laughs> Thank you. You should add AVI is French. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent.
Excellencies, ladies, gentlemen, esteemed guests, fellow educators and supporters. I stand before you today with immense gratitude and a profound sense of responsibility as the recipient of the Global Teachers Prize. This is a moment that I never could have dreamed of. <laughs> I express my sincere thanks to Mr. Sunny Waki, the Waki Foundation, UNESCO, and Dubai Cares. And all those who have believed in my mission to promote education in Pakistan. Receiving this prestigious award is not just a personal achievement. It's a recognition of tireless efforts and dedication of countless teachers around the world who work to transform lives through education. It's a testament to the power of education, the power to change lives, communities, and the world for the better. I share this award with the students I have had the privilege of teaching and the communities. I have the honor to serve. It's for the girls and boys who break all taboos, face challenges, dare to dream and learn despite the most difficult circumstances. Their resilience and determination are a constant source of, inspira of inspiration for me. They prove that education is not just a right, but a beacon of hope that can pierce through even the darkest of circumstances. The recognition is a reminder that when we work together, we can overcome the obstacles. It's a call to action, a call for us to redouble our efforts, and a call for the world to unite in our commitment to ensuring that every child, regardless of their backgrounds or circumstances, has an access to quality education. As a Global Teacher Prize winner, I am committed to continue the work that brought me here. I will use this platform to advocate for quality education, gender equality, and the empowerment of every child, especially those in marginalized communities. We must continue to innovate, collaborate, and invest in education to shape a brighter future for us all. In closing, I want to remind everyone that teaching is not just a profession. It's a vocation, a calling to inspire, nurture, and empower the next generations. Let's work together to ensure that every child has the chance to learn, dream, and make a positive impact on our world. Thank you again for this incredible honor, and thank you for believing in the power of education. Together, we can truly change the world. Thank you again, and God bless you all. Don't forget your award. You got something? <laughs> Congratulations, Sister Zeph. And maybe, I don't know, maybe this is uh, only, I would say, one in every 15 in this room will understand it when I say maybe this is a sign that Baba and Zaida Fridi and the others will get the Pakistan team into the semi-finals of the Cricket World Cup. <laughs> Who knows? 
because um, England certainly aren't in it. Anyway, I also think we should please applaud the other nine remarkable individuals. <laughs> Bravo to you all. A million congratulations.